Allow me to demonstrate with a quick magic trick. Here, I have a flower, just an ordinary flower that was picked not long ago. Watch it carefully now. Three, two, one. <gasps> it's gone! That's the question. Where did it go? If I could now invite you all to check your clothes, there might be a surprise in there somewhere. A surprise? <gasps> Let me see! Might I presume that you are well-versed in floral symbolism? For example, magicians often use rainbow roses in their flower-related performances to represent passion and romantic encounters. But you used a Lumidu spell, which, if I'm not mistaken, allude to separations. Watch closely. I have a flower in my hand. You liar! There's nothing in your hand! We ain't going along with this! Huh? My goodness, you're right! But I could have sworn I brought one here with me. Hmm. Now, have another look around. Maybe the flowers appeared somewhere else. Really? Let's see. Wow, there it is! Oh, this is a different flower from the last time, right? This one's called, um, oh yeah, a rainbow rose. Oh, we went to the cemetery and Linny did a private magic trick just for us. Actually, glad you mentioned it, because that reminds Paimon, guess what? Linny started using rainbow roses in his tricks. <coughs> what? Hmm. I don't recall ever having received a rainbow rose from you myself. Is this supposed to mean that they're more important to you than your own sister? No, I, I just... Uh... Please, take good care of that rainbow rose. I'd be really upset if you lost it. So, I went up and asked him to do a trick for me. Aww, that sounds so romantic. What trick did he do? It was with a flower. He took it in his hand, snapped his fingers, and it magically appeared on my head. <laughs> I was so happy that day. No one had ever given me a flower before that. Oh, that's so cute! Uh, actually, now that you mention it, Linny's done that one before. Is that right? Then I suppose he's a romantic at heart, just like Caesar. <laughs>